What's up everybody? Guess who's back? back I'm back again. So I have a haul video for you guys. Um, I had to cut my books down because uh, I haven't done this in what, three, four months. So I actually put away a bunch of books. Um, these are some books that I just got recently or not too long ago. So I'm going to go over these books. And I also have a CGC unboxing for you guys. Uh, I got four books all together. So we'll take a look at the grades with those that I got and then we'll go over those um but first off like thank you guys for joining me today i appreciate you guys tuning in since i haven't made a video in a long long while but first off i want to go over a, a um a box that i got it was from that spider-man booth i don't know if any of you guys have gotten any of those um mystery boxes but i used to get tom uh comic tom's um mystery boxes and how should I put it nicely, but they were a bunch of shit. It was basically a shit box. Like, I got three or four of them. So, for four months, I got literally shit comic books that they gave me, right? Like, they probably weren't even worth more than 10 bucks. So, you pay about 35 bucks plus, like, $7 shipping or whatnot for Comic Tom's comic, uh, comic boxes. And I literally got shit for four months. So, I decided to try out uh, another one that a lot of people have raving about. It's called That Spider-Man Booth. And this is what the stuff that I got from there. Um, I got uh, Wonder Woman 64, which is a uh, Brian Bolin cover. And I got uh, Korvac Saga number three. Um, I'm not sure how much that's worth, but pretty sure it's not really worth anything. I got an Ultimate Spider-Man half. If you know me, I'm a big half collector, so I was pretty happy to get this Spider-Man half right there. And I also got this Deceased number one. This is a Ben Oliver cover. Um, so they got a $20 price tag on there. I did look it up on eBay and these are about like 20 bucks. So that was pretty accurate. And then I got this, um, pretty cool Tyler Kirkham. This is Dark Knight's Metal number five, I think. It's a virgin cover. They got a price at 40 bucks. I looked on eBay. Prices were going around like 25, 30 bucks. So for the price, um, I pretty much got my money back for the books that they gave me. Uh, their, their boxes I think are... $29.95 uh, and uh, it's like $10 shipping so it's about 40 bucks altogether so I pretty much got my money back right so this is the type of stuff I was expecting but that's not the type of stuff I got from Comic Tom's boxes like I said I'm sure he does have some good books in there sometimes but like when you see his videos when he's laying out books and I literally I, I swear he does a bait and switch because if I got four boxes for four months and didn't get shit, either I got the worst luck in the world or just he's giving out shit, but I really think it's a bait and switch because you'll see the, him laying out all the boxes and you'll see so many good books going on all these boxes and then I got shit for four months. So just letting you guys know, try out what you want, you know, no disrespect to Comic Tom, but his boxes were shit, right? So that Spider-Man booth, you saw what I got. That's what I got for 40 bucks. Pretty much made my money back. So I appreciate that's what you're supposed to be getting in a, book, in, in a mystery box. Anyways, moving on. Um, I'd like to give a, show, a, a big shout out to one of my really, really good friends. To my homie Johnny. I appreciate you, my friend. But I got these two books from him. I got Arrow, number one. He likes to call it, call it Areola, number one. But this is a really, really cool cover. Um, I think it's our germ cover. But really, really cool. Nice our germ cover and then he also gave me this is a book that I wanted to get but the only shop that I went to didn't have it and I wasn't gonna go to any other shops it just wasn't worth that much to me but I really really like this cover um, it, it, it's a year of the villain cover but I guess this is a, a cyborg cover I just really really love this cover I think it's Matina really really cool Matina cover so I wanted that and my boy Johnny hooked me up thank you Johnny I appreciate it Dominary garage. Tal, tal, tal. Mia, mia, mia. Okay. Ah! Alright, next up I got this really cool uh, uh, Deadpool variant. I just thought it was awesome variant. Um, it's a UR Deadpool number five. Pretty cool cover. I don't know if you guys see there. But he has like the Masters of the Universe there. And then, um, uh, what the hell is that movie from? Uh, I forget. And then you got some Lost in Space type of little thing right here but I thought that was pretty cool variant this one's a hard to get into uh, high grade because of the black cover not only for spine ticks but it the 
color rub, it, it rubs very, very easily on this cover. So you got to be careful when you buy these because a lot of these where the staples are at, they have a lot of color rub. So be careful on that when you guys get them. Lately, I've been buying a lot of keys, a lot of keys. Um, I'm not really buying new um, books, but I'm buying a lot of keys, uh, older keys, silver age and stuff like that. And uh, this one I got from a lady on OffRub. This thing, jeez, <clears throat> uh, it's it's a pretty messed up book, but I got it for uh, 30 bucks. But it's uh, Lois, uh, Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, number 70, which is the first appearance of the Silver Age Black Hat. So this book is really in bad condition. So I have to do a lot of doctoring to this when I press it, a lot of cleaning, because this sucker is bad. Like, it needs a spine realignment. I don't know if you guys see right there, but but the uh, back of the cover is showing to the front, so it needs a spine realignment. I gotta clean the whole cover because this thing is dirty as hell. It has like stains on the back that I gotta remove and things like that, and um, it it just needs uh, massive massive cleaning and fixing on the sucker. But I think this thing will clean up very beautifully. Like I said, I got it for thirty bucks. If I ever get this graded, I guarantee I'll get way more than thirty bucks for it. I'll guarantee that. But that was that. All right, this is what I got. I got a, a few of these. I got like five copies of these, which is um, War of Realms, New Agents of Atlas. I think this is a second print. Yeah, this is a second print. This is the first appearance of a bunch of people in here. And another reason why I got it, because it was the first appearance of a Filipino superhero. And if anybody knows, I'm half white Filipino. Uh, but So that's why I got that. So had to pick that up. Moving on, I really, really love this art germ cover right here. I think it's art germ, but <clears throat> I really fell in love with this art germ cover. It's a Batman number. Dang. I don't even remember what number this is, but it's a Batman cover and it's a variant, and I just really like this old school um, homage to this variant. Uh, I forget what number this is to, but I ended up getting like 10 copies of this because I really, really love this cover. Love it. Alright, this book, um, I had seen this book a while ago and I had ordered some and uh, David from Seeking Air Mint Comics had uh, gotten one of these. It's the uh, Rags number one. I was always a fan of Rags number one and I was on their Patreon until they got really stupid. Like I think their book could have really taken off if they wouldn't have been so stupid with their, uh, with their fan base and basically uh, banning people from their Patreon and everything else and just doing dumb stuff. But the storyline to me was, I was actually reading it, and I actually enjoyed it, but then they just started getting stupid with people, and I still like actually reading the book, and I got the trade paperback they sent me and everything else, and I'm still a part of the Patreon, but if they wouldn't have been as stupid with their, with their fans and stuff, I think the book would have been more of a hit, but it really turned a lot of people off for the stuff they were doing. But anyways, moving on, I got three copies of the Onyx variant um, that they had from uh, SourcePoint Press. Uh, I kind of covered up the uh, naughty bits that were showing, but I ended up getting three of those. I think they were like um, uh, 14 bucks each or something like that. But I got some of these because I pretty much got all the rags, uh, covers, and everything else. And so I had to pick those up. Next up I got is the Batman Who Laughs. I thought this was a really, really badass variant, so I had to pick it up. It comes in a uh, minimal... Um, trade dress cover and a trade dress so this is really cool it's like a uh, Batman Who Laughs Harley Quinn variant just really really thought that was awesome I'm not sure who the artist is um, yeah the artist is that one guy but uh, I just thought it was really really damn awesome so I ended up getting uh, two sets of that because I really really like that cover so I got two sets next up I got here uh, this is like my third or fourth copy of this um, book but I try to get them when they're cheap. I got this for like uh, I think twenty something to twenty something bucks, and it's um, Marvel Premier Legion of Monsters number twenty eight. Marvel Premier twenty eight Legion of Monsters. So I picked that up for like twenty something bucks. I'll have to press it, clean that. I'll do that later on. But I've definitely been stacking up on, like I said, uh, Silver Age, Bronze Age key key books. So that way I can have those. This cover I had fell in love with it a long time ago uh, when I first saw it. Uh, but I just thought it was really awesome because everybody knows I'm a big Wolverine and Spider-Man fan. So this is a history of Marvel Universe. It's a Wolverine. Just really, really thought it was 
really awesome cover. It's a Marquez cover, but it shows like Wolverine throughout the years. But look how awesome that cover is. So I ended up getting two of those, as you can see. But this cover is so damn sick. Like, I paid the price for it, but I just really love the cover. All right, next up here, I got uh, two copies, Dead and Kids number one. This is from uh, Jimmy Linguini and Impressive Defects uh, in their uh, um, their box that they send out like every two months. Um, everybody knows issues with Impressive Defects. I'm pretty sad to hear about it, but uh, pretty much <laughs> the show's falling apart. But um, I still appreciate those guys and appreciate Jimmy for sending these out. But it's two copies. I guess the regular Dead and Kids was uh, sold out pretty quickly everywhere. And so he had these variants made up. I, I, uh, I think he said there's only a hundred of these made up. So um, people were complaining about him ripping the covers off of other books that he had done. And so he decided to send out two to the Patreon box members. And I think next month is the last Patreon box that he'll be sending out. And he's going to be killing the Patreon for impressible defects. So shout out to those guys for all the years of entertainment they gave us. But really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right, next up here is a book that I really wanted. I thought it was a <coughs> really awesome book. It's a nice Perillo cover, <coughs> but it's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number seven. It's drawn by Perillo. Just thought that was a really, really awesome cover, so I had to pick it up. I ended up getting like five, five of those covers. All right, these here I got. Um, this is that ride number one. I just really thought it was autumn, uh, really awesome Adam Hughes cover. Um, these were two of the pink virgin ones. I had some of the regular ones I got. Um, I was a little upset because the person who sent them, I got them for 20 bucks for both, which wasn't too bad. The only reason why I didn't complain too much. But he ended up sending it like crap. So he didn't have anything really rigid in here. So the book's kind of bent. And then they got really small spine ticks on there. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to, um, I mean, I'll press them out, but they got a tiny little bit of color break. I don't know how CGC will hit me on that, but most likely with the two color breaks on there, it'll probably give me 9.6 for this for this book. But oh well, I just really really like this cover, Adam Hughes. Really like it, so I got it. And like I said, the only reason why I didn't complain for the shitty shipping was because it was only 20 bucks for both. All right, here I got uh, I got this for like 16 bucks and about like five bucks shipping, so about 20 something dollars. I got for this book, um, it needs a press and clean, just like all these older ones do. But this is a, a Strange Adventures number 187. This is the first appearance of the Enchantress. Uh, there was a time that this book was pretty damn hot when that first um, uh, Suicide Squad movie came out. It was pretty damn hot. But this is about um, a low to uh, mid grade. Uh, it definitely needs a press and a clean because these teeth are dirty. It's not because he didn't brush, it's because it needs to be clean. But it will need a cleaner press and a little bit of a spine realignment, and this book will be a beautiful book once again. But I got it for 20 something bucks, like 21, 22 dollars. So, like I said, I can't complain because I am picking up a bunch of keys. Um, this one I got, Year of the Villain. This is a uh, Poison Ivy cover. Really, really like this cover. I don't know who the artist is, but really like the cover. So, that's why I got this. Next up, uh, this is a really awesome SDCC variant. Um, had order from Scott's Collectibles. <clears throat> um, this cover, it reminds me of Frazetta art, right? This is what it reminds me of. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, needs a press because they were bent a little bit also, but they don't really have the spine uh, ticks on there with the color break, so I'm happy about that, but they will need to be pressed because they do have a couple spine bends on there. But this is a beautiful cover. You guys have to see it in person. First time I saw this, the, the this drawing, I was like, man, this thing is badass. And somebody actually bought the original art, which I would have loved to, but that art was probably expensive as hell. But this is a Prillo. Um, I forget which one this is, but <clears throat> I can't even tell you how beautiful this thing looks in person, how, how awesome it looks in person. Like, there's those books that you have to see in person just for to, to just to get the full effect of it, but this one, this one's badass. So I ended up getting three of those. I think they were like 20 bucks each from, from them. Um, from Scott's Collectibles, thanks. Uh, so this one was from the comic mint. I just got one. I just thought that was a pretty cool cover. I don't know what book this is. It's a virgin. Uh, if you guys know, let me know. Fill in the comments let me know because I forget what it is. This I got five bucks was Walking Dead 193. Uh, I guess that was Death of Rick. Got a five, five bucks from um, Brandon's Comic Shop. He saved that for me. Um, these ones I also got for Scott's Collectibles. I'm a big Mighty Morph Power Rangers fan. 
I grew up watching the high school. I don't give a dang, don't judge me, but I really liked it. But this is um, solid, the uh, 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 sword for um, the White Ranger. So Samba, 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 yeah, Samba. And I just really liked it, so I ended up getting two of those. Gonna get those great eventually. And this was the some new Ranger. I forget what the storyline is for this, but these were uh, limited. And I think 25% of the profits from this book went to the uh, Children's Hospital. Uh, I think St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So I ended up getting two of these. Two of these. They're, they're going for about 50, 60 bucks on eBay right now. I got them for about uh, 25, 30 bucks each or something like that. I can't remember. But I ended up getting those. Really cool cover. I forgot what new character is. Someone let me know in, in the comments because I forgot what the storyline was with this. But let me know what that character, who and what that character was. Um, I got here uh, the ride number one. This is the regular trade dress. Uh, I actually don't mind this trade dress. This trade dress looks pretty pretty cool. So got that. This cover I really really liked. So I ended up getting multiples of it. Uh, this is Marvel's number thirteen. Uh, this is the um, Addy Granov variant with uh, Wanda and Vision. So this I think is Deadpool thirteen, but it's a Granov variant. This is the trade dress one. And I'm getting like six copies of that. Really, really like this cover. I just thought it was so awesome. And I did get a couple of the Virgins. Um, I don't know where I put those, but they're somewhere. I ended up getting two sets of the Virgins. So um, those are somewhere. I don't know, but they look pretty badass in a Virgin also. So like I said, this reminds me right here of where it says Marvels and stuff on here. It reminds me of the Time Magazine. Remember Time Magazine had, it was right up here. And they always had like pictures like that up there. So th this one always reminds me of Time Magazine. So this one, this is one that I actually like with the trade dress. Like I said, because it reminds me of Time Magazine. You know how they have the little uh, stories and stuff in there that they had. But that's what it reminds me of. But I just really thought that was really cool. <clears throat> All right, this is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Uh, this thing's in uh, very fine condition. But I, I think there's like three prints of this. Um, this one's a little bit harder one to find. The one with this... Um, Victor Gorlick, the editor, picture in the box. Well, you guys see that? So I guess there's the newsstand, um, one of the regular box one. I forget what it is. And then this one. This one's a little bit harder one to find. Um, I'm trying to find one in 9.8 status so so that way I can get it graded. But this one's probably like a 9.4, 9.2 because there's a bunch of uh, spine breaks right here with color, color breaks. So, um, but I only paid, I think, $15 for this, so... It wasn't too bad. This one is a really a really awesome art germ cover. I really like this. They also have this in a foil also, but it's a it's a Catwoman number thirteen. Really really like that cover, so I picked it up. Really thought it was awesome, so I picked up two of them. I picked up this uh, Jenny Frizen Wonder Woman number uh, seventy four. Thought that was awesome. Pretty cool. Picked up one of these uh, Batman seventy four. I just thought that was a really cool cover. It looks really good with the white in the, in, in the background and everything, and it just makes them pop out even more. <clears throat> Got this. this is a pretty cool Adam Hughes cover, Invisible Woman number one. Really like that cover, so I picked up two of those. My buddy Johnny tipped me off to this book, so I picked up a bunch of these also. I didn't get the Virgin one, but it's the Champions number, um, number six. So, got like four copies of that. I just thought it was really, really cool, cool cover. And that's uh, in Hugh Lee. Really like in Hugh Lee's work. So, I got that. I'm a big fan of uh, Lindsner, Lindsner art. So, I ended up getting some of these. Uh, it's uh, two Virgin covers for Red Sonia. I don't know what number it is, but those are those. Uh, I think it might be number, number 41. So, just thought that was a cool cover. So, picked up a couple of those two Virgin covers. This one I got for a buck. This is a uh, Big Hero 6, number one. Got that for a buck. I remember when these were kind of hot for a minute. Uh, but I was like, I'm not going to pass it up for a buck. Definitely needs a press and a clean, but couldn't pass it up. All right, this series has just ended. Um, it's Unnatural. I think this is book number 12. So with the short story they had. So these were drawn by, I think, Perillo. I'm a big Perillo fan. So they had the uncensored or censored version, which is this one. And I forgot what comic shop this was from. But then they had the uncensored one. 
Um, it's not really uncensored. I mean, I guess you can see her nips through her bathing suit, but technically she still has a bathing suit on, so she's not totally naked on there. But uh, that was the uncensored one. So I got those from, shoot, I don't even know what, whatever. I got it from somewhere. All right, next up, uh, sorry guys, trying to get this through this pretty quick. Next one is Mission Possible number one. I have six, like six or seven copies of this book, right? And five of them literally are the edited version, which pisses me off because I got like a ton of newsstands and they were all edited. And this is one of the error ones or the unedited ones that um, was not fixed. So uh, what happened was I guess Tom Cruise didn't like the way that the that the actor or the actor the character had looked in the book and said he was pretty damn fugly so he wanted to reprint it so they ended up reprinting it but there's some that are the fugly one and this is one of them and I have another one somewhere else but like I said I got like six or seven copies of the book and two of the unrecalled and then the rest are the recalled ones all right next up man I've been looking for this book almost everywhere and um Holy crap, my battery's almost dead. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. All right, guys. So my battery done died it on me. So uh, let me pick up where I left off. Uh, yeah, so these are some books that, uh, well, this one main book that I've been wanting to get a long time, a very, very high grade. It's It's... Really hard to get in a high grade. Um, this one is finally, finally got one in a high grade. Um, so, and I'm getting two of these books it, that came with it. It was 20 bucks I got for both of them. So basically 10 bucks each. But they're both newsstand image books. Um, so the first one was Wildcats number two, the uh, newsstand version of it. I already have one of these in 9.8, so I'm not really collecting these anymore. Um, if this one is a 9.8 candidate, then I will submit it. But if not, I will end up selling this raw with all the rest that I have. But uh, the, the, book, the, the book that, excuse me, I'm tongue tied. The book that I really wanted was this one, Death Blow number one. This is the new stand variant. This sucker is such high grade. I was like, this has a chance to be 9.6 or 9.8 after I press it. But beautiful, beautiful cover. Finally, I got one without all the spine ticks down the, down the spine. Because usually when you get these, they have spine ticks down the spine like crazy and a color break all the way down because of the black cover. Uh, I, I pulled it out. It has a cybernary story in the back. And usually a lot of times that back of the cover is pretty destroyed too. But this one is really great condition. So I hope when I submit this that I will get a 9.8 on the sucker, hopefully, after a press. But this is one I've been waiting to get in a high grade. It's so hard to find in a high grade, I'm telling you, this, this new stand one. So the regular death blow that was, that was direct edition... It's all like, um, I think they call it varnish, but it's all black. And then you can see his outline in the black on there. But this one is really cool because I like the red up against the black. It really pops. And it's new stands. So like I said, this one's really hard to find without having a bunch of spine ticks on the edge. I've got like about six or seven copies of this book. But this is the best one I've gotten. So like I said, I, I got them both for 20 bucks. Like I said, um, this one in a 9.8 sells for about a hundred something dollars. So this one after a press because it has a spine bend. But the good thing is it's, it's white, so it'll hide spine ticks if you got them, the color break. So after I press this, I'll take a look at it, see how it looks, and I'll submit this one. But I'm definitely going to submit this one uh, just so I can see what grade it comes out to. But if it's not a 9.8, this is definitely 9.6. Definitely, definitely 9.6. All right, this next up, um, this is, has a print run of only 600 uh, that were printed of this book. Um, I'm a really big fan of The Crow. And this book, I just had to get it. R really, really big fan. Not necessarily the the Crow comic book, but the Crow the movie with Brandon Lee. I uh, I remember every summer that me and my buddy would go to his uh, apartment and we watched the Crow like all the time, like yeah, probably every other day. And I just really, really loved that movie. So when I saw this, it was a Brandon Lee variant. I just had to get it. But it has a print run of 600. It's a hack slash number one um, virgin variant. Only 600 copies made, but really, really thought this was an awesome cover like I said I love that Brandon Lee Crow that was the best one and if they remake that um, it might be a good movie but it'll never take the place of Brandon Lee doing the Crow because that was such an awesome movie even my dog I named him after this movie so that's it right there but
couldn't have stopped. He was a butt face. I could have made it. What are you supposed to be, a clown or something? Sometimes. It's more like surfing than skating. I wish the rain would stop just once. It can't rain all the time. Eric? That's pretty much it for the stuff in my haul, guys. Um, like I said, I do have a CGC unboxing that we will get into right now. I ended up sending um, four books. Um, sent them fast pass just because everybody has that FOMO right now, you know. So I ended up sending four four books. Um, I'm keeping one book out of the four, and the rest will be going at eBay. And uh, so it's a villain in a upcoming movie for Black Widow. I'm pretty sure you guys know who it is. Um, so I ended up having three copies. Um, I knew one wasn't going to grade the highest because um, of the issues that I had. Because even when you press all the time, and I press all the time, like I literally am so backed up on pressing that uh, I just haven't been able to press all my books, right? So. So um, that's how backed up I have been. But like I said, even when you press all the time, it's just hard sometimes to get books to perfection. You know what I mean? It's just really hard to get that. And um, sometimes there's just some defects that you just can't get out, right? Like color breaks and everything else. Um, uh, there's a lot of procedures out there to, to do different things. And I know a lot of them. And like I'm not going to say I'm the best presser out there, but... I'm a really good presser, right? And I've been doing this for years. And a lot of times I won't submit books if I know they won't come back in 98 because cause I grade my own books. And if I'm confident in the grade or whatever else, then I will resubmit or crack and resubmit books and uh, just uh, send out numerous books. The ones, or, or, or if they're just rare or if a movie comes out and I know that I have a key issue to that then I will submit those no matter what the grade is um, just like I have a Submariner num number ones that I have one's pretty tore up but uh, I will get that one graded and when it comes back then I'll sell it Be even though it's tore up someone's gonna pay a lot of money for it because I got it for real cheap so because I bought them years ago um, so but get to to what I was going to um, so this one I got for a dollar this is a Amazing Spider-Man 263. I already have a 9.8 of this book um, that I bought a long time ago. I bought the 9.8 for I think about 50 bucks uh, shipped a long time ago, way before the Normie Osborne Red Goblin stuff had broken like a long time ago. I had bought it way, way back in the day. And then I had another one that I pressed. Um, uh, it came back in 9.6. So I ended up selling that for like 150, almost $200. I ended up selling that one. I kept my 9.8 and uh, I, I found another one for a dollar. Right, I found this one right here. Um, I pressed it like four times because this this thing has spine bends that were really really bad, and it was really hard to get them out. And I ended up getting a nine eight on it. So, just go show you if you guys aren't pressing your books, and I and and I said it many times already. I'm a huge advocate. You guys either need to find somebody who presses books or press your own books. And for the people that get all their information off of YouTube, how to press books. Please be careful who you listen to because there's a lot of people on there that uh, put stuff out there. I mean, there's some good pressers out there, but there's a lot that are giving you some, especially if they haven't been pressed for a long time, they're giving you some uh, crappy information. So be very careful. Practice, practice, practice for you guys to get better and better and better. But practice and be very leery of the information you get off of YouTube from other pressers. So I'm just saying, just be careful. So, like I said, I ended up pressing this one like four times, <clears throat> got it a 9.8. This one is currently selling for about $100 right now. Um, the only reason why I got it graded was because they said there's going to be one shot of Red Goblin coming out again soon. So, once that does, you know how people get that FOMO and they're like, oh, I want the first appearance of so-and-so. So, they're going to want the first appearance of Normie Osborn because that's this is first appearance and the price will go up. Uh, they're currently selling right now for about $100 on eBay so I'm gonna wait a little while till that one shot comes out then I will put it up on eBay and hopefully I'll make a little more than that but like I said I got a got this book for a dollar 
pressed the hell out of it, and it came back at 9.8. So a dollar plus about $25, $28 for, for grading. So anything over $30 is definitely going to make my money back, which I know I'll make my money back. So that's that one. All right, next up, um, like I said, people are really clamoring for um, this new villain's first appearance. Um, it's Avengers 196. I had three copies of this I bought, man, a long time ago. I must have spent less than 60 bucks per book on this character because I was just waiting for it to come out. So um, the first one I got is a CGC 90. It's Avengers 196, first appearance of Taskmaster. The reason why um, I was personally thinking this would be, be an 8, and the reason why was because there's a thumbprint right here, right? The, the or a thumbprint, a, a fingerprint. The, the fingerprint was a little more prominent, but I kind of wore the color down a little bit so the fingerprint wouldn't be as prominent. But <clears throat> And uh, there's a fingerprint on the back over here also because um, who, whoever was managing or, or whoever had this book before, they uh, had something on their hands, either some sort of chemical food or something like they were eating or something else. And they ended up rubbing the ink off of the cover from the front and back. So I was thinking it wasn't a grade higher than 8, but it came back a 9, which I'm fine with that. Because 9s right now, I looked on eBay, sold listings. They're selling for about $200 right now. I paid, like I said, less than 60 bucks for each one of these books, and I have three of them. Um, the next one I have is, um, this one came out to a 9.4. So this one's selling for about three to 400 uh, This one's 9.4. And I love CGC because it really pisses me off because sometimes they don't give you graders notes. I'm, I'm like, anything that's less than a 9.8 or even less than a 10 should have at least some type of graders notes with it. I was like, you're, you're paying for it. Why can't you get graders notes? So I'm probably going to call them, see what's going on. But this one came out to a 9.4. So this one's selling about three, three to 400 um, right now on eBay, about three to 400. So that one will go on eBay along with that 9.0. All right, this one's the last one. Um, I, I thought I was going to get a whole lot better. Um, again, no graders notes, so a little upsetting. Um, I was hoping that they would have uh, been a little bit lenient on me because this is a great-looking book. Um, I know the miscuts and there's some little small issues. I was hoping for somebody would have been, like I said, a little lenient on me and be like, hey, this guy gets a 9.8, but I got a 9.6. So I'm fine with that, right? Still a high grade book. I have another one in the mail uh, that's coming soon that is in really great condition. I'm hoping to get that, press that to a 9.8. But for the time being, I have a 9.6 as my highest, which I'm, I'm definitely not complaining about because these sell about four to 500 on eBay right now. And this one's not going anywhere until I get the other one and see the condition of the other one. But um, this one was a very, very beautiful book. Uh, there were some things on here. Uh, there was like one thing on here that I was like, okay, hopefully they missed that, and then I'll get a 9.8, but it came back a 9.6, and like I said, I'm, I'm not complaining by far. I'm not complaining. This is a really high grade. I mean, 9.6, especially in an old-ass book like this back in 1980, so I mean, this book even is going to be hard to get in a high grade like this because of just the color and everything else is on it, so even 9.6 is good for me. So that's pretty much it, guys, so I will um, see you guys on the next video. Keep an eye out for the next one. I should have one up in the next week or two. But appreciate you guys watching. Alright, peace. Dreams that you dream of, dreams with